Welcome back to the channel. We're back out at the JP shop. I have no idea what we're doing here today. Nobody does. Tracy doesn't know. Do you know? I have no idea. Wow. Let me turn the ball. Installing an SFB cold air induction. What? What? <laughs> Lay it on the windshield with the with a rag in between it. Yeah, yeah. This install is going to take a whole five minutes. <laughs> Not enough on wood. Come on, we already had this thing out when we installed the winch. Just gotta make sure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you the right tool. Yeah, would you just look at it? There we go. Got our filter box. Grommet. Some grommets, couplers, more grommet. I uh, might be actually the air a, intake for the box. Yeah. This is our pre-oiled filter. You paying attention, cameraman? Maybe. <laughs> Some clamps. Some paper. Right. Oh, and here's the cover. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. It looks so great. Would well, you just look at it? It's nice and protected. And this is really fun to get off, but <laughs> it, it looks nice and good and pretty when it's installed. Pretty, tough, rough, clean. Tough. We're going to go with tough. Aesthetically pleasing. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Beast Projects instruction review. What do we think of the instructions? They're nice. They're, They're color. color, little to little words, good for me. Oh, and they even give you part numbers to order new filters. Oh, and the cleaning and oil kit. Nice. Yeah, their kits are very, very decent. I did an install on Bell here probably about six months ago. Very happy with our S and B cold air induction. You guys want one of these kits? You can get it here. JP shop. I think for this install, guys, because a lot of people, this is a new thing. It's a 2019, well, it's not really that new. It's a 20, basically this will work on a 2018 and up JL. But I think we're going to do a full-blown tutorial to give you in-depth instructions from start to scratch on how to install this. At step one, you're going to want to disconnect the battery. We're not doing that. <laughs> but you can if you want to. Remember, there's two batteries, or you can just remove... This ground that's over here, if you remove this one painted ground, it removes both grounds for the battery. Step two, you're gonna remove the plastic clip to disengage the lock on the fitting, then pull away the disconnect to the CC feeder cover. So a little trick for these is kind of pull it in, push it in, and kind of wiggle it. And it Very comes right easy. out. Step three, you're gonna disconnect the electrical harness to the IAT sensor, your intake air temperature sensor. Just like that. Step four, guys, you're going to disconnect those clips holding the wiring harness to the intake. This one's sneaky, it's in the back. Step five, you're going to remove the two bolts securing the stock intake tube to the fan track. What size are they? 10 mils. Step six, guys, you're going to Loosen the hose clamps to the throttle body, and then you're going to pull the intake tube out and away from the throttle body using an 8 millimeter. Just like that. So step seven, we're going to remove the bolt securing the stock intake box to the body. Step eight, you're going to remove the intake box from the vehicle. It's secured by rubber bombs. Problem is, it's secured by a Rubber prongs and grommets pulled right out. Step nine, make sure that the rubber grommets are still in the vehicle. If they're not, you're gonna have to remove them from the air filter box and reinstall it. You're just gonna reinstall them into the vehicle. Step 10, we're gonna remove the bolt securing the two battery brackets together. It's a 10 millimeter. Onto the new SMB intake tube, we're going to start prepping it. We're going to remove 
the air intake sensor. How do you remove that? You gotta, there's a little clip that you gotta so, pull and twist it kind of clockwise. The sensor is keyed, as you can see. Maybe not, I might have to get a light. There it is. There. It's, there's a key right there. And this hole actually has a keyway. So you have to twist it out. So you're gonna lift up on this tab around this little notch right here, twist it, and then just wiggle it out. Don't try twisting it without lifting that tab up. There's a grommet that gets it. You got a little anxious and you jumped a step. So we're gonna install the SMB rubber grommet into the new SMB air intake. Then we're gonna install the IET sensor. It's keyed. Oh, is it keyed? It is keyed. Oh, it is keyed. So you put it in there like you took it out. And you're gonna turn it clockwise. And then you turn it. And it's got a knot, so it can't come out. Nice. Next step. It's actually different than the, the Ram. The Ram and the just JK. Sort of, yeah, the Ram just sits in there. The JK ones, you actually just push it in there. Yeah. Step 13, we sort of like skip through with those little steps with the air intake sensor. Um, already threaded. So There's yeah. actually a nut in there already. Yep, so it's, yeah, as you can see, it's already got the nylon. And this is a, put, a quick push connect adapter. You're gonna use a three quarter inch wrench or you're gonna use a crescent wrench and you're just gonna tighten this up, make it snug. You don't wanna overkill it. Steve, I'd say that's tight. Yep. Step 14, we're gonna install the rubber coupler with the two supplied hose clamps, number 56, in the instruction booklet. Then you're gonna tighten the hose clamp closest to the intake tube. Do not over tighten this. Keep that loose for now. I'm just gonna snug this one up a little bit too, just to make our life a little bit easier so we don't lose, so we don't lose it. Step 15, guys, we're gonna install the lid seal onto the groove on top of the intake box. Just gonna work that seal in all the way around. What do we gotta cut away? Any excess lid seal. I don't see any. I don't see any either. That's what it looks like on the inside, guys, the outside. We don't have any excess lid seal. It fits in there quite perfectly. All right. Step 16, guys, we're gonna install the fender seal, which is C, into the intake box, which is A. It only goes in one way. So it's pretty simple. Just gonna work the seal in. There we go. If you can see the orientation, you get this little cut out right here. It's all gonna be on the bottom of the, the box. And that's the front. It's for let's, the, show them, let's show them the inside. It's for the air duct that goes underneath. Yep. So step 17, we are installing the lid seal. This is the seal that the actual cover to the air box, the acrylic cover is gonna sit on. We'll put the crease in the back. So towards the intake tube. Once we get this installed. Oh, we're gonna be good. We are gonna have access. No, we're not gonna have access. No, we are gonna have access. No, it'll, gonna, it'll squish down. Access. It's actually quite perfect, guys. Step 18, we're gonna install and tighten the bracket, which is K, with the M6 bolt, which is L, into the intake box. A, which is A, do not over tighten, you're going to use a 10 millimeter. It's going to go in here, it's already pre-notched out so it fits perfectly. Here's our bolt, and we're not going to over tighten it. Do not over tighten it. It's actually a little loose. There we go. We're on to step 19 guys, we're getting ready to install the new SMB intake box. And we're going to... So, a quick tip, if you use your AMSOIL grease, which you can use any grease, but we use no, AMSOIL. AMSOIL, AMSOIL, B-Synthetics.com. And you put it around the grommet, into the hole, and a little bit, just a little bit, onto the nubs on your box. It'll make your life 10 times easier on trying to push it in there. There you go. JP Shop, Beast Projects, Tips and Tricks. It aligns. 
And now we're fully seated in. On the step 20, we are gonna align the mounting hole and secure the bracket K that we installed to the air intake box to the battery tray with the M6 bolt, which is a 10 millimeter. And we're just gonna quickly fold over the rubber piece so it's out of our way. There we go. Get an open end on that one. Snug this one up. There we go. There you go, guys. Step 21A, we're going to install the intake tube into the intake air box. And it just slides in. And it's sort of greasy already. It's like pre oiled, so it should slide in pretty easily. There we go. And then you're going to rotate the intake tube into the throttle body. Just slide that rubber coupler onto the throttle body there. We're going to tighten these hose clamps, do not over tighten them. Step 22, we're going to plug in our IET sensor. Oh, Steve, you know what we could do? I think we could pop this off and just plug it in right there. And now we're going to... Just gonna, cut it off? Uh, yeah, we're just going to... So what we're gonna do, guys, with these push clips, we're just gonna cut these off. If your wife's got a bead kit and has something like this, go ahead and take the, the side cutters from her bead kit to cut these off. And you can leave them on there. I just, you know me. I like to delete stuff. <laughs> That's just something for you to get your hands cut on later when we put a supercharger on this. We don't, we don't, we don't wanna do that, we don't wanna injure it. Next step, 23, we're going to push our CC hose back onto the quick connect fitting. And that's it. I'll tell you what, SUV does do some quality. They got some BA filters too. Yes, yeah, super filters are nice. All right, so step 24, we're going to install the new filter element to supplies nose clamp that came with the actual element in the box onto the intake tube. And I know I say all this all the time, do not over tighten, do not over tighten, but make sure you tighten this one up enough or it'll fall off because, well, I've done that. <laughs> it's a little tip for you guys. Do you just un unplug some of this stuff? and then push this in further. It'll make your life a lot easier to get the filter in. And you just kind of push it in there and wiggle it. So now we've got all this room to get the filter on there. And we can even rotate it and make the hose clamp hidden. Tighten this up. Rotate this back where it needs to go. Wiggle that on there. Make sure we're fully seated. And then go ahead and tighten this one up. Tighten this one some more, still a little loose. Plug everything back in. One, two. And as you can see, our filter's in there and our hose clamp screw is actually pretty hidden so all you see is a hose clamp. Step 25 we're going to install the nice SMV acrylic lid. And the tip is to install, we'll take the protective covering off the bottom half first so you don't get fingerprints all over it like I did. If you wear gloves Steve you don't get no, fingerprints. I never on wear it. gloves. I never wear gloves. Gloves are a lifesaver Steve. I think you actually took the top off first. Yeah. What? Yeah, well, that doesn't make any sense. Right there. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all right because I've got gloves on. I won't get yeah, fingerprints he's on. He's got gloves on. And yes, having a razor blade to start this is uh, a lifesaver. It's key. You ain't gonna get it off of your nails unless you have uh, lady fingers. Then we're just going to dig out the stuff in the center. Let's 
kind of tedious, but take your time. You'll get her done. So if you got some wax and grease remover and some lintless paper towels, we got a clean side. There's one clean side and one dirty side. So once we get this installed, I'll wipe off the outside of it. And it evaporates, so with some air, it'll dry. And step 26, guys, you're gonna use the supplied hardware to secure the lid to the new SMB air intake box. And this is what that hardware looks like. Just Washers like have a correct side. <laughs> These ones definitely do. You don't want to put them in the wrong way. So if you stick them in through this way, you can kind of use them as like thumb screws. Yep, now that they're prepped, just get them started and then we'll tighten them down or hand tight. So again, I know they say do not over tighten, but do not under tighten either because you will lose these. And as you can see, we're crushing down the seal, which is good. Don't have any bare spots. Installation's complete, guys, but one last step. Actually, it's not actually complete. One last step. If you disconnected your battery, you're gonna to wanna to connect your battery. Then you just wanna go over all your uh, bolts and screws, everything that you installed, make sure they're nice and tight, and you're good to go. But man, that looks, that's slick. That looks good. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else from s &B. They make some really good stuff. That's why we put it in our 2019 Rebel. Keep this hardware either with your factory intake or in a safe place you might actually need some one of these bolts one day so just keep them yeah that's the one thing i've learned from the beast project don't is that i don't get rid of anything anymore i keep everything in the box like this box that this came in i'll put all the the extra hardware the oem hardware in there because you just never know but this project right here guys is not going anywhere probably going to be the face of the jp shop here for a long time and beast projects but the, G, the Ruby Beast project is not going anywhere. We're gonna have a lot of fun times with this thing. We're road testing the new SMB cold air induction, making sure we have no coats, and we are good to go. If you, uh, if you were to have a code, what I would suggest doing is going over all your electrical connections again, but we are good. You got it, it's, it's, there's a noticeable sound difference. <laughs> wow. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. This is that SMB. Breathe. <laughs> what a difference. I mean, that is a noticeable difference in comparison to stock. No restrictive airflow anymore, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time, make sure you smash tap, do something to that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you check out the JP shop. Dot net. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next upload. There's going to be plenty of more. We're going to be doing a lot more tutorials and installs here at the JP shop. Here for the long haul, guys. Ah! That's good. I feel like light. <laughs>